Well, hello and welcome to another Tuesday Encouragement. Unbelievably, this coming weekend sees the beginning of Advent. And I do want to encourage you to join us on Sunday morning at 10.30 on our live stream, when we're going to be kicking off a new teaching series for the period of Advent, which is called Rediscovering Joy. If there's one thing all of us surely need to rediscover at the end of 2020, it's joy. So I hope you'll join us this weekend as I kick off that series. Well, now it's my absolute privilege to introduce to you Sarah Isaac, who's one of the leaders of our women's ministry, which is called Sharing the Journey. And they have an event coming up fairly soon, which Sarah is going to tell you about, uh, that you're invited to join if you're a lady. But if you're not a lady, please don't stop listening to this video now, because Sarah is going to share something of the journey that she and the team have taken. And she speaks about their fear, their faith, their trust, their pride, their hope, their shame, their wrestle of discernment as they've tried to put together this event. And she's going to speak about the shame of it too, the shame of running women's ministry on Zoom. I hope you enjoy all that Sarah's got to share with us now. And if you're a lady, please can I encourage you, do sign up to this event so that you've got the link ready to join that Zoom meeting uh, when the event happens. So God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Here's Sarah to tell us about the women's ministry which is coming up. So Sharing the Journey is a group for CBC women to learn and grow spiritually. We encourage women of all generations to support each other in their Christian journey. And I'm really proud to say that I'm part of the leadership team, which started years ago and is the brainchild of Kay Bolton. I could sit here and share with you about all the wonderful journeys, about the fellowship and the connections that we've helped women make across the services um, and also those all experiencing very different stages of their lives. I could talk to you about the hospitality we show on Saturday morning with homemade cakes, gluten-free options, fresh coffee. And I could talk really warmly about the real haven of peace that we create for women while we look after their children and keep them safe and happy so they can spend some real quiet, reflective time with God. Yet we're now in times of such change and COVID has come and it has paused our journey. We feel it is most inconsiderate. We all have a desire, even more in these times, to gather and worship God. Yet there are practicalities that we can't overcome. We can't meet together and we can't share food. So, well, we just can't hold our events. So during all the lockdown, the team has continued to meet, either on Zoom or in people's gardens. And we've continued to pray about what God wants us to do. We've created some temporary fixes. We sent out cards of encouragement and we did um, a light-hearted um, encouragement video as well, which was way out of the comfort zone of all of the women in the team. And then somebody mentioned a Zoom meeting. A Zoom meeting. See, women's ministry is and the Sharing the Journey team are about fresh flowers, twinkling lights, reflective music, women connecting, coming together in a peaceful haven. We are not about, can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, you've got to mute it. Press the mute button. No, he hasn't got the video on. Have I got the video on? Uh, I can hear a baby crying. Can you turn that baby? Can you see if you can set the baby? Mute the baby. No, we were not about a Zoom meeting. So we waited. We still had a desire to gather in God's presence. In fact, we all felt that it was really knocking on our hearts. So we tried to be really creative at overcoming the practical hurdles. But as we were wrestling with the practical hurdles, we found ourselves also dealing with a lot of fear and a lot of pride. Hmm. Well, we didn't want to journey differently. We wanted to do it the way that we knew best. We wanted to journey the way that we had created and that we proudly knew would be welcomed. We all feared the unknown, that's for sure. But what would the journey look like if we did it slightly differently? How would we run the event? And would the women still want to journey with us if we didn't have twinkling lights, name badges, homemade cakes? We feared it just wouldn't be good enough if we didn't have our nice napkins, 
and our reflective music. We were really proud of all the standards and that we'd created and we just didn't want our reputation to be ruined by running an event on Zoom. And as we waited and stewed, frustrated with the COVID restrictions, God just sat and waited patiently beside us. He heard all of our fears, he heard all of our concerns and all of the prayers that we put up to him. We really wanted to gather and in those meetings, I just felt really helpless, but I also just had this tiny, tiny feeling of hope. I just felt that God did want us to gather and that he would find a way. And unlike with other social groups or sports events where we know that the restrictions mean that it can't happen, I just felt differently with this group, that God would find a way. So as a team, we continued to push hard and in vain, we tried to find a few loopholes to the restrictions um, so we could still meet as a group and have a cup of coffee, um, but just do it in a way that didn't upset the government guidelines. And we were completely frustrated at every turn. There were so many reasons for us to stop trying, yet there was just one reason that we felt we needed to find a way. And that was God knocking on our hearts. So despite all the horror of arranging a Zoom event, God took our hand and walked us gently into creating a Zoom event for sharing the journey. Now, he walked us in as if it was the most natural, obvious idea any one of us had had. We'd all been so against it, yet now we've got a desire for God, a desire to gather, and suddenly we find ourselves with the enthusiasm and the courage to start designing a Zoom event. And now we're really busy preparing to welcome all the CBC ladies with open arms. I'm surprised myself. God's just inspired us to create a Zoom event for sharing the journey in our style and in a way that will help the women feel connected. So we're back to building an event to help women come together. It's, and it's really exciting. The invitations have all, have all gone out and we were all really anxious. I mean, how well would it be received? We still didn't trust God. Yet the response was immediate and overwhelming. Oh, we've been waiting for this for ages and oh, I can't wait to come to the Zoom event. Among all of our doubts, God knew, God knew, among all of our doubts, God knew it would be welcomed. God knew it was needed. God gave us the energy and the courage to do it. And his timing is absolutely brilliant. So there is still time to sign up to our event. The deadline is this Sunday, November the 29th. We'll be, you're very welcome to join us at our special, if not imperfect, event. It definitely won't be the same as our usual Saturday mornings. There is very likely to be technical issues and we obviously won't be able to meet in person, but it will definitely be a sharing the journey event. We will definitely gather and we will definitely worship God. And despite all the lockdown restrictions and the uncertainty of the new world, we are all going to come and face it together.